This is just a pause. Chris uh, Kulak is with the Visiting Nurse Association, or VNA. And just because the VNA and City of Dallas's program to vaccinate in-home residents didn't start like it was supposed to today, doesn't mean it's not going to happen. We all paused, and now we'll we'll think through um, what the best best next step. The VNA operates the Meals on Wheels program for Dallas County. 400 of their clients living in Dallas said they want a COVID-19 vaccine delivered to them. 70 were supposed to get a shot today. We were planning on using the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. This one and done shot is logistically easier for the VNA to coordinate and schedule. It's also safer for their clients if strangers only need to go into the homes of these at-risk individuals once. They have, have probably three or four health, chronic health conditions. A lot of them have mobility issues. Having um, us be able to deliver the shot to them is really, I think for them, is the only way they're going to get it. Earlier this year, the VNA partnered with the Texas Division of Emergency Management to administer the Moderna vaccine to in-home residents in Dallas County. We started in DeSoto and Cedar Hill early February. We have now finished up with uh, Duncanville, DeSoto, Cedar Hill, Lancaster. People have told us, you know, now they can see grandkids and now they can visit with family members. Kulak says he hopes the program will Talk resume in the next week or so, but it's going to depend on the city, he says. They get allocations each week, and so it's about saying, okay, can we have enough vaccines to kick off a homebound uh, operation in the next couple of days, or does that need to be next week? As far as which vaccine, when, and how much this program will get, a City of Dallas spokesperson would only tell me today that they will provide more information when it's available. In Dallas, I'm Muriel Placencia.